lots of year 10s ask me when they should start revising for their GCSEs and I always say now, whenever they ask me the answer is always now and nobody ever believes me but honestly the best time for you to start revising for your GCSEs is now. Now I know they're over a year ago but I just want you to have a look at the year 11s in school and kind of like, mm, they're starting to look a little bit stressed because they've got their mocks coming up and they've got a lot of revision to do and honestly most people, the stuff they did in year 9, the stuff they did in the beginning of year 10, they don't look at again until they need it for either their mocks or they need it for their real exams and then they're kind of like, they'll look at it and go, I don't remember doing this or they missed a lesson in year nine and it turns out to be like a six mark question on the exam and they're like, well, I don't remember doing this. So if we start revising now, your life next year will be much, much easier. And when I say start revising now, I do not mean spend the whole of your half term in like your bedroom or at your dining room table just revising. I'm talking kind of like little and often. So if there's a bit of maths that you know you're not good at, um, if it's kind of like, you know, long multiplication, because that's the sort of stuff they teach you really on it early on in school, and then kind of like assume that you know it. But if you don't know it, it's a bit tricky, because that's the sort of thing that comes in really, 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 really useful later on, or like your times tables. I know, I know we did these in primary school, but I can't remember them. But I do know they come in so, so useful when you're doing your non-calculator paper at GCSE. So there's lots of bits of revision that you can be doing now to make your life next year easier. So if there's anything you don't understand in any subject, then maybe spend 20 minutes this half term going over it. And you don't have to spend like, you know, a whole day doing it you can spread those like they would do two dots 20 minutes on a monday two dots 20 minutes on a tuesday or you can decide to spend the friday just revising you know like, little and often is the way to go identify the areas where you're not very sure about stuff if it's your times tables then i oh, know i know it's a real drag but please learn your times tables or simultaneous equations or atomic structure or your units for physics then just spend a little bit of time revising it now nobody's going to check up on this revision and nobody's going to be able to mark you on this revision or say whether it's any good um but the more you do now the better it will be the year 11s are going to be doing kind of like loads and loads of work because they know they've got their mocks coming up they're going to be doing papers they're going to be doing essays and they will be wishing that they'd spent a little bit more time in year 10 revising so this half term i don't want you to do lots of work i want you to spend time relaxing spend time with your friends spend time shopping going to cinema whatever it is you want to do but you know maybe when someone else sits down to put on a television program that you're not really into then you can get your phone out and do some flashcards on your phone or you can spend some time making some flashcards on your phone which you can use in year 11 because these sort of things are always really really useful I know on Quizlet, loads of people have made GCSE flashcards, so go and find somebody else's flashcards and go through them. Yeah, that is a really, really good use of your time, but that is really, really low effort, but will have a big impact on things. Now for GCSE Science and GCSE Maths and GCSE Geography, over on my website there are the free revision guides which you can download and in there is everything that the examiner expects you to know so that everything that your teacher should have taught you that you know maybe you missed because you were off uh, school that day or you know there's something your teacher said you don't understand so there's a list of everything the examiner thinks that you know there are smiley faces so you can decide whether you know it or not and then if you do identify any gaps from the beginning of year 9, the beginning of year 10, then there are videos where you can just go and click on the videos, watch the video videos, and then fill in those gaps to help you understand it. And honestly, the earlier we are filling in these gaps, the better. We do not want to get to April of year 11 and realise you do not remember anything that happened in year 9, and you basically have to reteach yourself the whole of year 9 maths, because... That is not going to be fun in any way at all. Let's do little and often, little and often starting now and then you will feel much, much better by the time we come round to, to year 11. Now when we're talking about things that are going to make you feel better when we come round to year 11, 
you really really need to start good habits now and when I'm talking about good habits I mean kind of like good habits for looking after your mental health so it is not a good idea to sit for an hour at your desk writing your brain will not like that it's a much better idea to do 20 minutes of maths go and make a cup of tea come back to do 20 minutes of english this is going to make you feel much less stressed about things it's going to make you feel much less anxious about things your brain is going to appreciate the change your brain is going to absorb information much much better um it is really going to help you if you can learn basics so basic recall for um physics will be your units and your equations because when we get to the exams in year 11 you don't want to be worrying about um and not being able to remember the equations having to look it up and then have to worry about how to actually do the exam question because if you've remembered it if you've taken kind of like the units and put it into your long-term memory then your working memory the stuff that actually works stuff out can focus on trying to answer the exam questions so learning stuff learning um equations uh, learning the ions for um chemistry i'm not talking about like practicing questions i'm just talking about basic recall here so this is all stuff you need your flashcards for so that's all really really useful stuff you can do over this half term and kind of like good habits that will see you having a much more enjoyable and much more relaxed year 11 um, and that is what we want um i have loads and loads of stuff coming up for you um, most of it's only going to be relevant for year 11, but if you want to go and have a look at what I've got on my website, there's workbooks, there's more tour choice questions. Um, so much stuff that will be ready to help you when you need it in year 11. Um, but for the moment, just think some relaxing. Um, and yeah, try not to worry guys, because I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.